This is your Midco Sports Network game recap from Frost Arena in Brookings. Tom Eamon with Brad Newitt. And South Coast State has just uh, beaten South Dakota 71-57 to in a game that was weird in the first half. Newitt never seen anything like it as uh, South Dakota scores the first 20 points of the game, mm -hmm. which was the first part, the first unbelievable part in this thing. It really was. They get out to a 20-0 run, and it happened in seven minutes, so it happened really quick. South Dakota State misses their first 12 shots of this game, and Frost Arena was dead quiet. If you want to get real cute about it, somebody just tweeted that South Dakota State went on a 71 to 37 run <laughs> over the rest of the ball game. Anyway, Jacks come back and score 28 of the next 30, and uh, they regain the lead. Let's take uh, some of the highlights of the first half here, and it was all South Dakota for the first seven minutes. Casey Kasperbauer with a three. Trey Burnett hit a three. Brandon Boss hit a three. Jacks finally got on the board seven and a half minutes in on that jumper by Cody Larson. And then Keaton Moffitt had a nice first half. He had eight points in the first half. Reed Telling Hughes and got going. Zach Horseman got an and one. And the Jacks go on a 28 to two run. There's Telling Hughes. And they lead at the half 31 to 29. Incredible. Yeah, improbable what they did. And they held USD to two points over a 10 minute stretch. So there was a 10 minute stretch where USD didn't make a basket. So it was just. What, exactly what happened to South Dakota State to start the game happened to USD about halfway through the second half, and like you said, very close then at the half as a result. Jacks missed their first 12 shots. USD had a, a stretch there where they went 0 for 14. It was mm -hmm. just weird, but uh, Jackrabbits went, uh, lead it 31 to 29 at halftime and then get to the second half here and pretty even throughout the first 10 minutes or so. Ian Tyson off the bench with a three-point play, telling Hughes with that little pull-up. And the Jacks tried to pull away a little bit. DeAndre Parks with a three. He had a big second half. But Tyler Larson with that three, and he kind of kept a minute in the second half. So did James Hunter, who ends up with 10 points and five rebounds. But then George Marshall started to get hot. He made a couple back-to-back -back hoops. Trey Norris on the scoop there for his two in the ball game. But Jack Rabbit's behind Larson. And Telling Houston on that follow. And they pull away and win it here, 71 to 57. Just after that hot start, uh, the Coyotes could not find the basket after that. They really couldn't. They started the game six for eight. After that, South Dakota State held them to 10 on four, 10 to 41 shooting times, below 25%. And South Dakota State's defense does it again. And they're starting to really believe in themselves on the defensive end. Weird to see how the game started because they certainly weren't playing great defense for the first seven minutes. But after that, boy, they were in a groove. All right, they will meet again in the final game of the regular season on February 28th uh, in Vermilion uh, with SDSU at USD. And these two teams are probably going to be in the mix uh, for that Summit League regular season championship when we get to that point. They're definitely positioning themselves here early on. And, you know, for USD, they've gone on the road, got a win at Denver, win at Fort Wayne, battled very well here at Frost Arena, which no one has really been able to do yet here in the Summit League this year. So. USD is showing that they are really trending towards being an upper half team for sure in the Summit League. All right, the Coyotes uh, play again at Western Illinois on Thursday. Jacks are back home here at Frost Arena on Wednesday against Fort Wayne. We'll have that game live on Midco Sports Network. We will see you then. That's your game recap on Midco Sports Network.